guys would get to the low security prison and they'd realize that people had contraband cell phones. They thought it was the coolest thing ever. They wanted a cell phone. So they'd start asking around and they'd eventually find the right person that had the connections to get them a cell phone. These cell phones were going for anywhere from $1,500 to $3,000, depending on what type of phone you'd get. These cell phones were smuggled in either through drones or the campers next door to the low security prison or through corrupt guards. These guys would then borrow a phone from whoever they were buying a phone from and call their peoples back at home, usually their wife, and get them to Western Union the money to whoever they were buying the phone from. This whole process took about a day, two tops. You would then see the guys that bought these phones not knowing where to stash it or how to move around. And so the phone would get caught the same day or the next day they'd buy it. So what do these guys do? They go and buy another phone and the same shit happens again. 